Welcome back to my Ultimate Doom Builder tutorial series. This is, I th think this is part seven. I think. I did one, I only did one minor little thing off camera. No big deal, but this room inside our, our building here, I just kind of lowered the floor and put this nice blue carpet on it. Just trying to get something to, to visually break it up. A couple other things I want to change here. Uh, this is really cramped, so I want to make the ceiling taller. But if I do that, well, the door is part of it. So what we need to do for that is put a sector over the door and you can use the support texture as part of this. We're gonna go up here, here, go diagonal, and then go ahead and flip these line defs to face outwards. All that's gonna allow me to do is to grab this ceiling and raise it up some so I can do something like that. And eh, we'll, we'll leave that one a little lower. It makes things look different. And then we'll go ahead and just texture these. Let's do like, I don't know, we'll just do metal too. See what that looks like. Better than nothing. And then I think the floor also works for that ceiling texture there. We'll do that. And this allows us to change the ceiling heights without, you know, messing with the door texture. Next thing I want to do, this area is kind of dark, so I want to do something to make it brighter. Now you could just grab the sector, increase the brightness like so. Um, but for me, and again, this is this is personal preference. This has to do with mapping style. I'm very logical about the way I light my Doom maps. So if something, if an area is bright, there needs to be a reason that it is bright. When you look here, there's no reason. There's no, I'm gonna fix this upper texture. There we go. There's no reason this would be bright. There's no light sources. There's no lamps. There's no light textures and so on. So this, it's just illogical. And to me, that stands out. And you know, that's a quality problem. Go back down to, what was this? 144, make this match as 144. Two things I'm gonna do to, to make this area light up. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a light, like a hanging light up here in the ceiling. So let's go, oh, this is a little bit off grid. So we can do it right here. I'm gonna make this 128 by 64 sector, and I'm gonna make sure it's lining up with the blue 64 by 64 grid so that our ceiling and floor flats line up. Now, this is kind of a trope you'll see fairly often in my maps. You know, I, I do this a lot. I'm gonna drag this down, change the ceiling to flat 22 which is, you know, sort of that odd tech texture that hurts you in whatever that E2 map was. I don't know. I like to use it as a light source though. So we'll do that. Select these uppers and use, we'll look under the silver category. Um, we will use Sean 3. It's got the UAC logo on it, which is, you know, it's good for branding. You walk in here, everything says UAC. You, there's no question on where you are or who made it. So we'll do that. Now we got this nice hanging light and we can pick the sector, crank the brightness up. Let's do like 224. Let me turn highlighting off. And so now there's this lit up sector in the middle that's, you know, fairly bright. And actually we could probably make that even brighter if we wanted to. Let's see, 240. Yeah, so 240 works. And now logically, because we have a light source here, we can make the rest of this area brighter as well. So I'm gonna grab this surrounding area, turn this up to, let's try 192. And now things are starting to make a little sense. Um, I don't know if I like the ceiling texture, but I'm not gonna just ignore that for now. And then, uh, yeah, the, the door is a little weird, but honestly, I like that. That, you know, the, the way the door is in darkness or in shadow just kind of visually breaks it up. And actually, I think this could go down. Let's try 160. Yeah, I think that looks better. So you'll see this a lot in maps I make. You'll have some kind of light source where it's really bright directly under it. And then the, you know, you'll have adjacent areas that are brighter and it kind of fades away. So maybe that still needs to be brighter. Let's try 176. A lot of this, you know, just try and see what looks good. And you know, I think that works. Um, next thing I want to do is I think I'm going to put a window in this wall because you know, this area is just bland and a window is also a light source. We're going to go back to visual mode or, uh, overhead mode. 
And I'm just going to draw from, let's do like here, down to here, like so. And now we have a window. We're going to turn highlighting on. We're going to bring this up a couple ticks, maybe 3D, clear. Grab the ceiling, bring it down to about here. I'm going to hit G to turn gravity off, so I'm at height, you know, player height. And... Just kind of walk up to it and make sure this looks good. And I think that works. So, you know, that gives you a view to the outside and also gives a reason for this area to be brighter because you have your sunlight or whatever that is, you know, bleeding through. Go ahead and texture this. We'll just copy these both sides. Um, these edges of the window, I'm going to use doorstop. Nice, you know, simple thing. And then, whatever this texture is, we're just going to use that for the floor and ceiling. I think that works. So, apart from the alignment issues, uh, what I'll do here, I'm going to click upper unpegged and hope it just fixes itself and it looks like it did. So, same on the outside. Click upper unpegged and it just kind of fixes itself. Well, the lower is wrong. So, maybe, maybe we need lower unpegged as well. Apparently we do. Again, I, I don't know, I don't understand those settings well enough to explain them. So if you know what they do, um, leave a comment and then I'll pin it or something. And the rest of you can learn from the Doom community actually knowing more than what I do. I tend to just click those buttons until things work. So now we have a window. Now I'm not sure, you know, as it stands, we might be able to pass through that window. Let's check. It might be a little too short, but we'll see. So it does block me and that is because it's too short, but still, you know, if I were to come back and change it later, suppose I decided this window needed to be taller and did, let's just do this, go back into the game. If I come around to this back side, now I, oh, or I can just fall off too, that works. Now I can just step through here and you know, that's unintended. So if there's an area like this and there's a window and you know, suppose this door needed a key. Well, this is map breaking cause now I can just step through without a key. What I will usually do with windows, even if they don't need it, go to line def mode, select the front and back and make those impassable like so. So now I I should not be able to walk through it. It's acting like a window, you know, you've got like this invisible pane of glass or force field or, you know, what have you. But that prevents me from passing through. And, you know, I actually want this window to be a little on the short side like this, so you can't pass through it anyway. But, you know, in my opinion, something like this, it's a good idea to just be explicit. Go ahead, mark these as impassable. That's going to keep you or monsters from passing through. And, you know, if you come back and change the height later because you changed your mind, well, it's still a blocking window and it's, you know, going to do what you're wanting it to do. Now this area is still a little bland, so I'm going to do something on this back wall. Maybe some, like, techie thing. So there's all kinds of like tech and computer textures you can do. So I think I'm gonna do something like this maybe. Give a little inset here. Select this front. Let's look at the computers. And we can just do, I don't know, comp weird. I, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. It looks like comp weird to me. These are offsets. And then for the sides, we're going to use comp span. Just kind of that same appearance, but without the circuit board thingies in it. So oh. change your texture offsets to zero. There we go. And that kind of works. Uh, the height's a little weird. I mean, our room height is taller. Yeah, so we can just make the room shorter. Let's do that. Grab these, just bring that down till it lines up, and there we go. I think that works. Now, as far as lighting, auto align. Oh, that needs lower unpegged, doesn't it? I don't know why the outside needed it and this one didn't until I moved it. And again, this is just me. You know, I really like lighting. 
So like these little corners back here, you know, my eye just says those should be darker. So I'm going to draw a couple little sectors like this. Grab those and turn the brightness down just a couple notches. And so now you get this, you know, this feel that this light is casting a shadow kind of, you know, you have these edges where this sticks out. You don't have full line of sight on the light. And let's just see what that looks like in crispy. Got our working door, we got our window we can't pass through. We can shoot through it, however, that's a different flag. And maybe we'll talk about that later. Our little computer panel that does nothing, but it just breaks the visuals up and makes this area look a little more interesting. And then we jump down here and we're gonna get stuck because that is too tall. So we'll need, we'll need some steps here. Let's draw some steps in. And then we might uh, might call that a video. I'm gonna do here. Let's do this. Oops. Okay, I no, oh, there we go. I just had highlight mode off. I flip all my line defs to be pointed outward. And I think I need one more step to do what I'm thinking here. Okay, we're gonna grab these and we're gonna use that same step texture that we used outside. So I think step two, that looks correct. Fronts will be step one. And I forget what I used here. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Grab that. We'll just use the exact same format for this little staircase. Like this. And so now we have a way to get down and not get stuck. And the last thing I can think of for this little video, we have this little space here on either side of the staircase and it just seems to me like something needs to go there. And we haven't done anything with things yet, apart from just the player starts. I'm gonna hit T to go to thing mode. I'm gonna right click to place one. Um, it's defaulting to a player start because that's the last thing I used. You have all these different options. You have, we're gonna look at some obstacles though. And we're gonna look at the tall tech pillar. I'm gonna place that there. I'm gonna center it up a little bit and do another one over here and let's see how that looks. Yeah, tech pillars are always good. And then the only change I would make is because this space is taller than that, we're going to change our floor and ceiling heights just to make that tech pillar fit a little better. So we're gonna draw a line here. And here. I'm gonna raise the floor to one tick and we're gonna lower the ceiling. Yeah, just one tick like that. I'm gonna select both of these sectors and I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see if this light actually fits there. No, the offsets are wrong. It's, it's wrong with the way the grid is, so I don't feel like resizing all that. So we're gonna use, let's just use like flat 19, use that on floor and ceiling. And then we'll grab these. That has two different line depths because it's actually divided by this step. And let's just look at like a gray, something gray, gray one. Okay, so just copy and paste. That didn't quite work as expected. So I have like front and back line depth things going on here. So not the end of the world. And then I don't like that. I can paste that, but that, well, actually that works. I mean, there's like a seam here, but I think it's okay. I'll do a quick auto align on all the walls and let's just see what this looks like in game. Open up the store. And this is kind of the, just the entry to our little tech base. So I think this has been good progress, good start. And uh, 